Hey there, travelers. As you can see, apparently I need to really work on my humming if I want to be a part of the Traveler Quartet. And I really want to be a part of the Traveler Quartet! Luckily, I think I know an animal who knows a bit about humming. This week we're talking about the hummingbird. Hmm. Well, travelers, turns out hummingbirds don't hum with their mouths. Rather, the sound comes from the beating of their wings. Hummingbirds are fast, so fast in fact, they have a maximum forward flight speed of 30 miles per hour and can reach 60 miles per hour in a dive. Unlike other birds, hummingbirds can do tricks as well, such as hover in flight and fly backwards. They can even move their wings in full circles. In order to reach these speeds, a hummingbird has to flap its wings between 50 and 200 times per second. Maybe if I try that, I can get into the quartet. Well, that didn't work. Maybe it has something to do with how they're built. Hummingbirds are the tiniest birds in the world. They can weigh between two and 20 grams. To put that in perspective, this quarter weighs about five grams, and this pencil weighs about 10 grams. Although they're incredibly small, they're actually quite muscular. 25 to 30% of a hummingbird's weight comes from their pectoral muscles. That's the broad muscle across their chest that's primarily responsible for flight. Maybe if I work out my pectorals, I can hum like a hummingbird. Let's go, brother! That didn't work either. Hummingbirds have to be able to teach me something. Maybe it's what they eat. The average hummingbird feeds five to eight times per hour. Hummingbirds primarily eat nectar, but they will catch the occasional tasty insect for a protein boost. They get their nectar from flowers, visiting on average 1,000 flowers per day. And it doesn't just help the hummingbird. Plants benefit as well. A lot of plants depend on hummingbirds for pollination. They pollinate a flower by rubbing their forehead and face in the flower while gathering the nectar. Hummingbirds don't drink nectar through their beak like a straw. They actually lap it up with their tongue. Hummingbirds need to consume approximately one half their body weight in sugar every day. Maybe if I consume one half of my body weight in sugar, I can hum well. Uh, uh, you know, travelers, that did not go very well. Maybe because a hummingbird's metabolism is much faster than a human's. Still, there's got to be something a hummingbird can teach me so that I can join the Traveler Quartet. Something that is easy to notice on a hummingbird is their bright, beautiful look. They actually get their coloration from iridescent colors, like you'd see on soap. The bright colored feathers on the back of their neck is known as a gorget. Hummingbirds can flash their colors if they want to impress their mates, and can hide their colors if they want to avoid the predators. Where can I learn to be beautiful like a hummingbird? Did someone say, beautiful? <laughs> Something else a hummingbird does extremely well is conserve energy. When a hummingbird gets tired and wants to go to sleep, it goes into what's called torpor, which is basically deep hibernation sleep. During this torpor, they can conserve up to 60% of their energy. Their metabolism drops to 1 15th its normal rate. This sleep is so deep, it may appear that they're actually dead. It does take them about an hour to recover from torpor though. That's it. I'm just gonna get a good night's sleep, and then I'll be in the quartet. I overslept! No! I missed practice. 
Well, if it's not sleep, maybe it's their migratory patterns. The Rufuus hummingbird has the longest migration out of all the hummingbird species, traveling 3,000 miles from Alaska all the way to Mexico. The ruby-throated hummingbird travels 500 miles non-stop across the Gulf of Mexico twice a year for their migration in the spring and in the fall. Some scientists believe that they make this migration in less than 20 hours. I'm going on a trip. No! Jeez. I don't know if I'll ever be as good of a hummer as a hummingbird. I'm starting to get frustrated. It's making me aggressive. Well, maybe that's it. Male hummingbirds can be aggressive towards other male hummingbirds, especially if they get in their territory. <laughs> no! The IUCN currently lists almost all hummingbird species as either vulnerable or endangered. They all fall victim to habitat loss and destruction. We have to do everything we can to keep diverse plant life around hummingbirds so they can get their natural food source. Thanks for checking us out this week, travelers. This week's honorary traveler is traveler Cam. Cam wrote into Trav at travstravels.org and requested the hummingbird. Thanks, Cam. If you're as cool as Cam, make sure to email us and let us know what critter you want to learn more about. Keep on traveling while I go practice my humming.